bags bait. I got every cleat up in the stove. Austin Powers, Groovy Molly, and me, it's a movie. I ain't loving cuffing nothing, that's for everybody. I'm like Trey Factor, my knock wall pockets is sloppy. Put your hand Alright, what's up everybody? It's your boy T Term Dog here coming at you with the video. Today we are playing the seventh game of my NBA 2K20 High School Hoop series featuring the Garfield Bulldogs against the Vandegrift Vipers, a 1 6 team, and we are 6 0 coming off of back to back wins against the Lincoln Real Splitters and the Patrick School, so obviously I'm pretty hyped about this one. Now, the Vipers being a 1 6 team and they're one of the lowest rated teams in their league, I'm going to have my JV team play this one. Alright, looking at the power rankings, the Garfield Bulldogs are number 2 in the league behind Sierra Cannon Trailblazers who are number 1, Prolific Prep at number 3 at 6-0, Rainer Beach at 4-0 at number 4, Chino Hills at 3-1, and, and Modern Day at 4-1, so I think this top 6 is pretty accurate. The most surprising team this year has definitely been Prolific Prep, I never expected Prolific Prep to start 6-0. Prolific Prep was one of the more, I guess, mid-tier teams going into this year, so the fact that they're 6-0 and they're on a hot streak right now is pretty surprising to me, so we might have to be careful when we play them. Other teams we got are Nathan Hill at number 10. Nathan Hill should be a top 10 team, maybe a little bit higher than number 10. Oak Hill number 15. IMG number 20. Montverde number 23. O'Day at number 25. Uh, who else we got here? And the Long Beach Poly Jackrabbits are still the worst team in the league right now, which probably makes sense. They're one of the lowest rated teams right now, so, yeah. So, two big changes to my roster. I'm going to have Jamon Kemp and Corin Johnson start today and not Eddie Turner and Jerome Brooks. They're still going to play, but I'm going to have these two play more because JV is more about experimenting and seeing who the best player is and just getting more players playing time as opposed to like actually like winning the game, which I'm still going to win because JV, well, that's not a very good start. But yeah, again, because I'm playing the JV team, I'm obviously pretty confident I'm going to win the game, but I just want to see what good players there are. So yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. Once again, the biggest factor going to the game is, of course, going to be Kendall Munson, who is still going to get most of the minutes in the center today. Kendall Munson is obviously always the best player on the court, so I'm looking forward to seeing how he does here. <laughs> Block Curtis, so we like to see Corin Johnson for three. Stolen. Oh, Kendall Munson. Kendall Munson and one. Yes, sir, Kendall. That's what we like to see. Free throw is good. Garfield Bulldogs go up 3-8. to eight. No. Wow, another three from Vandegrift. Okay, bro. I see you guys. Way to stay in the game. Oh, Terrell Brown. Yes, sir, Terrell Brown. Oh, no. No, sir, Kendall Munson once again with the defense. Terrell Brown for three. Curtis Jamon Kemp with the dunk. And the first quarter ends. Garfield Bulldogs lead 28 to 10. No, sir. No, sir. Kendall's got you on clamps, boy. No, sir. Oh, what? No, sir! Jamon! Count for three! No way. What? Oh, come on, bro. Bro, Van Gerd is making threes almost as much as we are right now. Just like this, right here. Terrell Brown for three! 40 points in the first half, man. This is just like the Patrick School. We're going to break a record again. Oh, Corin Johnson with the steal. Kendall. Munson with the dog. Kendall. Munson with the dog. Yes, sir. Flex on him, Kendall. Flex on him, Kendall. Show him why you're the best player on the court. Good defense, y'all. That's what we like to see. All right. Halftime is here. Garfield Bulldogs lead 44-23. Phenomenal first half, y'all. Phenomenal first half. Good shit. Good shit. What did I tell you? You will not score on us in the paint. Kendall. Munson with the dunk. Is that three? 
Corrin Johnson for three. Kendall Johnson with the dunk. You're not going to make those very often, though. Terrell Brown and one. So it's definitely been a pretty rough game for Vandergrift so far. Jamon Kemp with the block. Corin Johnson gives to Kendall. Kendall Munson with the dunk. Curtis Walker for three. <laughs> okay, bro. Oh my gosh. That's crazy, bro. Third quarter ends and we go up by 40 points. Kendall Munson with the dunk. Come on, Kendall, you can do a little bit better. Terrell Brown with the dunk. I swear to God, that's in the third player. I'm gonna lose my shit. What? Man, that's crazy. Okay, see, if Greg Brown is the best player on the team, that makes sense for him to actually score the most points. So, I mean, I understand that, but yeah. All right, free throw is good. Okay, I have to see this for myself. If that's a filler player... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, thank God. I swear to God. He made a three-point. I was about to quit the game. Come on! Kemp with the dunk! Man, I can't believe this. Every single game, there's always at least one filler player that comes into the game. Oh, look at Curtis Walker getting revenge. Oh, there's the filler player. Pass the ball, I swear to God. There we go. No, sir. Corin Johnson. Corin Johnson with the layup. 84 points for the Garfield Bulldogs. So, once again, for the third week in a row, we have broken the record for most points in the game. Oh, my God. The filler players in the game again. Curtis Walker with the dunk. Why do you have a filler player? I took him out of the game. Why Bruh. is there filler? Oh my God, there's two of them. Oh my God. You know what? I don't, I don't even care anymore, bro. There's 30 seconds left in the game. I don't care anymore. Yeah, okay. And the filler player draws a foul. Yeah, get mad, filler player. Oh my God, they have three of them now. All right. That's the end of the game, 91 to 38. Once again, boy, victory. Three filler players on the court, though. Three filler players, man, three. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm sorry, Eddie. I'm sorry, Bubba. For some reason, none of my bench players got to come into the game. I don't know why, but I'll do whatever I can to make sure you guys play again the next time, all right? But Kendall Munson, bro. Kendall Munson's dominating all sides of the court. All right, looking at the box score, 33 points for Kendall Munson, 13 points, 9 assists, almost a triple-double, 14 for 15 from the field. Terrell Brown had a double-double, though, 19 points, 11 assists, so great game for Terrell Brown, 17 points for Jamon Kemp, 9 rebounds, 2 assists, 8 for 10 from the field, 1 for 2 from 3. Corn Johnson, 14 points, 7 assists, 3 steals, 6 for 8 from the field, so... Great game for um, for Corin Johnson. Curtis Walker did this thing, and of course, for some reason, nobody else got to play. Five blocks for Kendall Munson. Are you serious? How many blocks did we get today? Five, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. We had thirteen blocks. I mean, it makes sense. The best player had the best game on the team, so that makes sense. But these dudes, wow, that's just brutal, bro. Alright, that concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.